Yeah, um, <clears throat> I know I've spoken a lot in general terms about um, the fruits of the Spirit, although I know I need to get into a little more detail about that. And I also have spoken a lot about, um, you know, how prophecies and uh, signs and wonders and miracles and all these things that a lot of folks put a lot of confidence in, you know, are not indicators of the nature of our relationship with God and how God may be happy with us or not. And um, just for a quick preamble, I frequently quote Ma Matthew chapter 7, speaking from verse 21 all the way down to 23, 24, thereabouts, where it talks about, you know, we have prophesied in your name, we have done many mighty works, we have cast out devils in your name, and Jesus will say, I don't know you. But I want to take it a step further than that, you know. Um, I want to I want to look at something a little more intricate than that. Okay, um, in James chapter one, <coughs> we have James, who literally was the brother of Jesus Christ, one of Mary's kids. For those of us who think that Mary died a virgin. Get your act together. I want to pick it from verse 2. James chapter 1 from verse 2. And I'm going to read to verse 4. Usually I'm reading verse 5. But I'm not reading verse 5 today. It says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Let me just pause there for a second. When you fall into diverse temptations... How do you react? What do you do? What do you say? What's your story? What's your reaction? What's your attitude? Listen. People go through every kind of suffering that you can conjure up, that you can imagine. I'm not talking about good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people or any of that. Like the Bible literally says, time and chance happen to everybody. Yoruba will say, That is, you see all the lizards, they've got their stomachs on the ground, but you don't know which one of them is aching. What it means is that you don't know what's wrong with an individual when you see them. Have they been through a rough patch? Or... Are they mad at you? You know, any of those kind of... You take it in context, you can get it. But I, re, I generally reinterpret it this way. Basically, what it means is all lizards have their stomach on the floor, on the ground, and all of them are aching. Why? Because everybody has got a story to tell. Some are just louder than others. Some are just better storytellers than others. Some just have a platform, a bully pulpit or something to speak from. And maybe you don't. But make no bones about it. Everybody is going through something. You are going through something. That fellow right next to you is going through something. There was a day I went to the hospital. I don't know what it was. Probably, I don't remember who it was. Probably taking my daughter for some checkup or something. And I saw an old lady being carried out on the stretcher. And I saw the daughter of the old lady, presumably, wealthy looking woman with bedecked fingers, rings, and makeup, looking gorgeous. But she seemed ashamed, you know, that presumably they were carrying her mother or grandmother out of the hospital on the stretcher. And she was kind of almost hiding her face, standing by the corner. And I thought, if only this lady knew what I had to deal with in my own family. If only she understood what I've lived with my entire life. She wouldn't feel ashamed about what she's going through. She would realize that we are brethren at arms. We all go through stuff. Everybody goes through stuff. Some, like I said, just have a louder mouth, a bigger opportunity, or are just better able to tell their story than others. Everybody goes through something. So I don't know what it is that you are going through. But the Bible says, and this is for those who know their God, those who care about what the word of God says, this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night to observe according to do, and to do according to all that is written therein. That's when you make your way prosperous, and that's when you shall have good success. That is what the Bible says. And the Bible is saying now that 
one of the things that you're supposed to bear in mind, meditate upon, and observe to do. Count it all joy when you go through, through diverse temptations. What are you going through? Your husband cheated on you. Your wife went to a witch wizard and is casting a spell on you. Wow. Count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations. Your boss fired you. Um, I don't know. You had an accident and a guy ran away from you or cheated you. You got swindled of a million dollars. Count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations. You're being persecuted. You've been arrested. You're going to be executed tomorrow. Count it all, not some, all joy when you go through diverse temptations. I mean, like, I, I don't know which Bible you've been reading. I don't know what messages you've been hearing. I don't know what pastors you've been watching. No, the ones that say you should act in wisdom. React in act in wisdom, but the wisdom means that mm -mm, ah no, I'm gentle as a I'm gentle as a dove, but I'm wise as a serpent. Nobody can do this to me. You are a fool. I saw one video yesterday for of some pastor in the north. Listen, what's been happening in the north is it's terrible. Please make no mistake about it. It's terrible. But the funny thing is, this is literally what Jesus told us was going to happen. So why are we reacting in strange ways? They will persecute you. They will kill you. For those of us who say that we are children of God, the name of Jesus is going to be like a scarlet letter on our backs. It's going to be like a branding on our foreheads. They are it, it has always been that way. It, is, it will always be that way. Nero burnt down Rome and persecuted Christians, blaming them for that atrocity. And then he put them in arenas and they were mauled by lions and they were burnt at the stake. So why do you think your story should be different? That's what has happened to Christians throughout all eternity, throughout all, all, all history. All, I mean, what, what exactly do you expect? So how are you supposed to react? He said, count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations. How many of us, like Paul and Silas, beaten and bleeding in the dungeon, bound by chains and fetters, waiting for execution tomorrow? How many of us can, like Paul and Silas, begin to sing and to praise so that the prisoners hear you? They, 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 they hear you. That's what moves the hand of God. When God showed up, when the angel came, the whole prison shook. Prisoner, the, the prison warden went to hide himself. Chains and fetters fell off. But what if the chains and fetters don't fall off? Does it change what the Bible says? Count it all joy. That attitude. That attitude is what I am talking about today. The way you react. The way you behave when somebody is persecuting you. When somebody is trying to kill you. I was attacked. Spiritually. Years ago. I was so ill I almost died. I may have said the story before. And I laid in bed. Sick. And I had some washing to do. And the Lord told me to get up and do the washing. And I was feeling very bad. Like, Lord, how can you tell me to do it? Can't you see how ill I am? Can't you just give me a break? And the Lord told me, get up and do the washing. So I got up and I sat down. I was about to start the washing. As soon as my hands touched the water, I received instant healing. Instant. The disease was gone. The headache, the, it was gone. The fever, it was gone. And then the Holy Spirit told me, if you had stayed in bed, they would have killed you. Now, I know a lot of us don't want to believe in spiritual things, and that's why I, I tend to tone it down. <laughs> but <laughs> it's part of our walk with God. It's part of our walk with God. And uh, perhaps, maybe as I go forward, I'll share a few more of those kind of stories. This is one of the reasons why, you know, you can't tell me God is dead. You, 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 you literally can't, because I speak with him. You can't tell me God is dead. I've seen him work in my life. I've seen the outcome of it. And if he says I should stand upon the word, even if I don't understand it, I'll stand upon the word because the word has shown itself to be true time and time again. The word is what builds your faith. And the word tells you, count it all joy.
when you go through diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith is supposed to work patience. Supposed to teach you how to be patient, how to patiently wait for what God has promised. That trying of your faith is a recommendation, it's a requisite for your walk with God. You must have your faith tried. You must have your faith tried. There's no getting around it. There's no beating about that bush. You must have your faith tried. And God is going to see to it that you do. But let patience have a perfect work. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If patience is going to have the work it's supposed to do in your life, complete, accomplished, and build you into what God wants you to be, you have to allow it to work. And it's that attitude with which you engage in what you are going through. The way you react to it. That's the point. It's not the fact. You know, some of us, God told me not to fight. Him. In fact, if, 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 I wasn't, if, if it wasn't that I'm a Christian, if not that I'm a, if not that I'm a Christian, what, what would you have done? You would fight for yourself. Okay, no wonder God is not showing up. Why would God fight for you if you can take care of yourself? That attitude... That attitude which you go through what you are going through. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is. And I can come up with any number of stories. What you, you, you spent a million dollars bringing your wife to America. And she gets a nursing job. And she's now making five times what you're making. And then she decides you're no longer worth her time. She starts cheating on you, talking down on you. You get thrown out of your own house. <sighs> Count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations. When you fall into diverse temptations, you speak the name of Jesus and you get fired from your job. You tell people about the name of Jesus and they ostracize you from society. They won't let you speak. You voted for Buhari, and you can, <laughs> that's rough, man, that's rough. <laughs> you voted for Buhari, and you can see the results in the country. Yeah, whatever, man. Count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations. How many of us are children of our father? How many of us are going to represent him with the words that we think, with the, that we speak, the thoughts that we think, and the things that we do? How many of us are going to count it all joy and give thanks to him like Job did when the enemy touched everything in one day? The camel is gone, the sheep gone, the donkey is gone, the, everything he's worked his entire life for, gone, one day. And I see that was not enough. His kids, all of them, dead. They are adults. Their, their elder brother had a house and he called them for a party. So Job is not a young man. And all of them, gone, dead. D -E -D, dead. Count it all joy. My Jesus. How do you say that kind of prayer? The Lord give it, the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a story out. I'll probably save it for another video because I'm, I've gone way too long here. There's a story in Exodus that breaks me every time. I, I, I'm very close to tears. I'll talk about it in the next video and I'll use it for another different uh, message. Well, uh, if you have questions, ask. I know there have to be questions. Share this video, subscribe, click on notification, the works, leave a comment. Insult, abuse, whatever it is. But let somebody else hear these words. Don't be selfish. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.